Hey guys, so it is um, almost midnight and I thought I would film, I don't know, I was in the mood to like film a video. Clearly I do not look fresh face because I've had this makeup on all day so I didn't want to make like a formal video but I thought it would be a good idea to show you my nighttime routine since that's what I'm about to do right now is take off all my makeup. Um, I get a lot of questions about my skincare. I do have a skincare video and for the most part it's the same as it's been so I'll link that video in the box below um, if you're curious to see that really nothing's changed with it but I just wanted to kind of show you what I go through at night every night every night I'm like very regimented when it comes to this like I can't sleep or rest peacefully <laughs> if I have not gone through this so first of all um, I take off my makeup and lately I've been using the Kirkland daily facial cleansing towelettes that um, my future sister-in-law picked up for me, the big box at Costco. I don't have a Costco anywhere near me. But um, when I'm not using these, I love the Bioderma, which you can get on Amazon. I had a really, really sweet subscriber send this to me from, I think, Paris. But I'm um, kind of savoring this because I really love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these Kirkland wipes. I really like these because they are, like, quilted, and they just really seem to get off all my makeup. So... Here goes. Um, I also really like them because I can take off all of my eye makeup and it doesn't burn my eyes. And I usually just kind of hold the, the um, wipe on there for a little while to just kind of melt the makeup off. Um, if I do have really stubborn eye makeup, I will use like a specific eye makeup remover. I have a bunch of samples. I think I have NARS in my drawer right now. Just an oil-based um, eye makeup remover, but for the most part, this usually does the trick. Just be gentle when you're doing this. Um, what can I talk to you guys about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is, I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to taking my makeup off because I think it's super important to just take care of your skin and do this. Um... It's also really important, I feel, to obviously cleanse your face, but take your makeup off first. Don't think just because you're using a cleanser that that's going to remove all your traces of makeup, because it doesn't. Um, so whether you use a makeup wipe or the Bioderma um, or cold cream, whatever you need to do to get it off. I like the wipes because they're quick and fast. And I'm a huge multitasker, like I'm always thinking what I have to do next so I can usually get something done if I need to, like edit a video or something while I'm doing this or watch a video. Um, but you definitely want to cleanse your face after this. I wouldn't just leave this as your, you know, as your cleanse. Make sure you get your mascara. And like I said, um, I don't have sensitive skin, but this never ever seems to aggravate my eyes or burn my eyes. And I always am sure to get all mascara traces off. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, get my neck too, because I usually have powder or bronzer on my neck. Um... Now I would cleanse my face, and I'm going to go into the bathroom and use my shriveled up to nothing Cebu Facial Cleansing Bar. Um, I also have the Balancing Cleanser, but I keep that in my shower, and I use that with my Clarisonic. I only really use my Clarisonic during in the mornings, and I use this. I have a little like soap dish by my sink, and I use the bar soap at night, just because um, I feel like it's kind of good to change it up, and I don't want... I don't use the Clarisonic twice a day right now because, one, I don't really need it. My skin's in pretty good condition, knock on wood. And, two, um, my skin is dry due to the weather and the heat running in my house. So I don't want to dry it out too much, which the Clarisonic can tend to do if, if you overuse it with products. So I will be right back. I'm just going to remove whatever's left from the towelette, and I will be right back. Okay, face is clean. I always pat it dry. I never rub. Be very gentle. Um, next, I just moisturize. I haven't used a toner in years. Um, I feel if you have a lot of acne or breakouts, it might be good to use a toner. Or if 
you don't feel like you're getting all of your makeup off and you want to just make sure it's all off, that would be another reason to use a toner, but I don't use toners. So I'm using the Moroccan oil, which I mentioned to you. I do three pumps, and I just put this all over my face. When I'm not using the Moroccan um, Argan oil, I use the Cebu jar, the night cream. Be really gentle around your eyes and wherever you get really dry, like my nose, because I've been blowing it a lot. Um, it does look a little oily, but honestly, it soaks in and absorbs into your skin so quickly. And I usually take it down my neck. It just feels so good, and then I usually just rub whatever is left into my hands. Um, okay. Next, if I had some kind of breakouts or a breakout pending, and I felt as though I was going to get a breakout, I would use my seed oil from Cebu. But um, again, knock on wood, my skin's pretty clear at the moment, so I won't be needing that. But I do tend to. Uh, put it on spots when I feel like I'm getting a spot or I'm trying to heal a spot, I use the seed oil and it works wonders. The argan oil I feel like does help that stuff, helps prevent stuff too. Um, next I use an eye cream. This is the one from Cebu. This one's almost out. And really don't need too much of this. Just about that much for both of my eyes. And I just take my ring fingers and I start under my eyes and I dab all the way out to the corners like right here and I circle my eyes this um, not only puts the moisturizer around your eyes but it also helps uh, circulation so you can avoid dark circles hi Lucy do you want to come say hi yeah and then I always bring it down my nose. I don't know why. I feel like that's just because it's the most driest part. So whatever's left I bring down. Come here, Lou. Come on. See, I'm having a sleepover at my sister's house. Do you smell my argon oil? See, I'm having a sleepover with Jakers tonight. So yeah, I just make sure my eye cream's really moisturized and just dab it in. You don't want to rub really hard. You just really want to be gentle around your eyes, hence why you, your middle, your ring fingers are the best because they're the most delicate. And once I am done with that, I take the Urban Decay Lush Lash, Lush Lash System and I just use this as I would a liquid liner and go across the top lash line. I don't use it on the bottom, but if you want your lashes on the bottom to get some growth or uh, conditioning, then you definitely can, but I only go along the top. So I do a little line on both sides and then I flip it around and I have the little mascara wand and I just coat your lashes as if you were to use mascara. And the nice thing is it's white so you can actually see you know, where you're putting it on or where you may have missed putting it on. And then I use my MAC Honey Salve. If you don't have this, you could use any uh, Coors Lip Butter, MAC Tender Tones, your favorite lip balm. I just always go to sleep with lip moisturizer on. And this is literally like still on my lips when I wake up in the morning. And then lastly, I would take my rings off, which I have a little cup by my vanity so I don't lose them. And I use the Laura Mercier. Uh, body souffle in creme brulee, but I use it as a hand cream. Just a little dot. And I rub it in really good. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I feel like that was really pointless video, but I know sometimes I get questions and people are curious um, about my skin care routine. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't sleep with my hair up. I will take this hair thing out. It's one of those little ties that I have. You can see it. Um, I don't sleep with my hair up because it puts a kink in my hair and I just feel like it's too tight and I, I just want to be comfortable. So I'll take my hair down and go to sleep. Take my jewelry off. It's always like the last thing I do at night. I don't know. That's weird. I 
just, I like wearing jewelry and I don't like taking it off. So, anyway, this stuff smells so good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some found it helpful if you're curious to know what I do every night. I would definitely suggest taking your makeup off every night. It surely will make a huge difference in your skin and um, help prevent, you know, bacteria and acne and breakouts. Um, your skin layer kind of like... Uh, you ha you develop like another layer of skin each night that you're sleeping. So if you don't put take it off, take your makeup off, you're just kind of having new skin form over your makeup and your gunk, and that's what causes like breakouts and cl like clogged pores. So you really just want to open your skin up to just breathe and rejuvenate and replenish itself at night. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sweet dreams if this is posted at night or. Have a great day if it's posted in the afternoon, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.